So the scenario here is that you go to open the trunk one day and realize it doesn't do anything, it just doesn't respond at all. This is a bit different than if the battery's gone flat where you can pop open this little cover on the bumper and then if you dig around you will find two wires behind there which connect um, indirectly to the actual release solenoid. Couldn't show this with any one hand but you just connect these to the battery and you should hear the solenoid making a noise if it does work. Um, in my case it didn't. Uh, there was no noise coming from this side of the vehicle where the main release solenoid is. There is a proper Tesla tool for lifting the car um, as seen here. I just used a rubber puck and I was careful to protect the sill as seen here and lift up. The vehicle in the air you want to remove the left front wheel and then you'll see the inner mud guard um, with the red areas highlighted here which is taken from the Tesla manual for the newer model but it will apply to the older as well and then um, you want to carefully undo these they are like mushroom type clips where you pop the center out of them a little bit as I'll show on here and I had to do this with one hand so it looks really awkward me doing it but you basically want to get something behind there and um, perhaps a sm sort of small flathead or a tool like this and just pop each one of these clips out so go across all of them as uh, seen on that diagram all the ones you can see you only need to do the front really because you can move the um, actual front part of it out the way to get access behind the bumper for the next step So with that out the way, the next step is going to be to loosen the tray under the bumper. This is going to be attached in the corner of the bumper. I think this was a 10 millimeter nut, but you can see more clearly with it off here than it's just the one stud with a nut that holds it into the corner. And then there's some further 10 mils going across um, the bumper edge underneath the car. Um, with that out the way, you want to look and find this. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this is the little solenoid that pops the, the frunk open. Um, it's hard to tell you exactly where this is, but it's behind the sort of center of the bumper, inward of the headlight. And you can see here the bit which I'm highlighting red is the same as that bit on there. So if you look on the picture on the right hand side, you can see where the cable goes in with a white piece of plastic. You won't be able to see that in this picture and then you probably won't be able to see it looking under the bumper. So you need to reach your hand through and try and unclip the white part. It will just pull away and slide off the actual mechanism itself. And once that's been done, and again I'm using this pick tool here, you can see the white bit is now separate from the rest of the solenoid. There will be some pictures later on in the process to show this perhaps a little bit more clearly but what we want to do there is to try and grab the white bit and then pull it which will effectively pop the front open. With the front now open we're going to want to remove the inner tray so you can see the red bolt highlighted there um, you're going to have to remove that panel just underneath the windscreen. That comes off really easily. And then there's the four bolts to get to on there. One of them next to the washer filler cap and then two of them just under this little panel near where the catch is. And with that removed you should look like this. And the next thing I did was just check there was 12 volts to get into the motor when it was being operated. Rather than remove the whole bracket I just unbolted the torque screws so I could lift the solenoid away from the front edge of the car. I'm not sure how or why it was like this, but the motor itself was full of water, so you might just be able to see there as I'm sloshing it around, but there was a clear sign of water having got into this. Uh, so the next step from here was to actually open the unit up, and um, the motor was quite rusty, so I moved everything out of the way. I left it to soak with some penetrating fluid and worked the motor free, making sure it could spin freely. 
I did then test it before I sealed it back together, but once I was happy, I put some sealant around the edges, put it all back together, and then bolted it back into place. As you can just about see in this bit, I got some wire and I've made an emergency release. I believe they didn't do this for some kind of security reason, but a long time ago I had a box with the same thing, so I'm just going to recreate it now. There is a little cutaway in the phone which shows that maybe they thought about it before, but I've just run it through like so, and then pulling on it, as you can see, it will operate the latch in case of an emergency. And so I connected the wire back up as per normal, and then, as you see here, I closed the lid carefully, and then I've gone into the car now just to operate the release and check that the motor works as it should. And equally, by closing the lid manually again here, I'm just going to check that the manual release also works if ever I need it as well. And I've just put a little loop in the end of it to make it easier. By this point, as you've probably seen, I have put the majority of the trunk back in place. You just want to make sure that when you're putting this back together, you remember to get the wire for this little light and release button on the inside. And then when putting the under tray back down, you might notice that those clips, they don't quite go in as they should, but you need to pop them in first. And then if you give them a bit of a twist, they should then lock into place better so they're not sort of springing in position. And yeah, to finish the job, it's a case of putting everything back as you found it really. It's mostly the 10 millimeter bolts, which you might find a little bit more difficult, but everything else should just pop back into place as you found it. Hopefully that helps you out. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in another one.